everybody, Dimco Productions here. Today I'm going to teach you how to do the lightning bolt effect that you see in various movies such as Star Wars done by uh, the Sith Lords and I thought it was pretty cool so I'm going to teach you how to do it today. First you want to import your footage so you go to file, import, file and find your footage and open it up. Strange thing about Adobe programs is they don't take MPEG formats for some reason. I don't understand that. But anyway, you want to take your clip and you want to drag it down to make a new composition. It'll appear in your timeline, just like so. And then once you've got your movie in your timeline, you want to go to the exact frame that you want your lightning to come in. So scroll through your video here until you find the exact frame. You can also go frame by frame with the frame button located in the time controls area. I want my lightning to come in right around there. So as you can see my hands are going to open there and the lightning will spurt out. And it's actually quite simple now. You have to go up to edit once you've got your frame, your keyframe that you want to have your lightning. Edit, split layer or control shift D on your keyboard. And as you can see down here it's uh, your movie is split into two layers. Two layers here. And now now that you've got your layers split, go up to Effect, Generate, Lightning. And you've got your lightning bolt appeared on your screen. How easy was that? Now, your lightning bolt should have a circle at each end with a crosshair in the circle. You're going to drag that circle crosshair, one end where you want the lightning to start, so I want it to start in my hand, and the other end where you want the lightning to end. I want it to end at the doorway here. So as you can see, you've got a little lightning bolt. Now, you know in Star Wars and other movies that use lightning, you don't ever see, just see one strand. There's uh, numerous strands. So you can go ahead and you can add another lightning strand if you wish. I'm going to. Go down and do the same thing. Effect, generate, lightning. But this time, what you want to do is you want to drag the opposite ends to the opposite places you did before. Otherwise, the lightning will just overlap and it'll just look like one strand and it won't look good at all. So there you see, you've got your lightning. You can see that it's kind of identical, but just flip. But that's where, over to your left here, these controls come into play. Uh, you can do pretty much anything to your lightning bolt with these controls over here. The good thing about it is you don't have to animate where the lightning goes. The program will do that, but this you can change uh, what the lightning looks like, uh, branches. Uh, if I, For example, here I'm going to go to branching, and you can see the lightning bolt change in different ways. So I'm just going to change it there and you can do anything. Uh, change the color of your lightning bolt. So now that you've got your lightning bolt in there, you can play your video and the lightning should be there. Play it. Slow frame right here. And the lightning appears just like that. It's magic. Very simple, simple uh, effect to do. If you want to get into more advanced effects, you can go to effect. Do the same thing you just did, but instead of going to effect generate lightning, you can go to effect generate advanced lighting, lightning and uh, you can do some really cool things with that and I will also have another tutorial for that up on here. Thank you for watching uh, please subscribe, comment and rate